Hello, 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 people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy Tuesday to you all. Well, if you're watching this today, it comes out. Happy Tuesday to you all. If you are, then hello. New day, new music, and new debutantes. In fact, I think we technically have two debutantes today, which is very exciting indeed. Of course, one of the cardinal rules on the channel is to check out as many debuts as we can. And today is no exception because we have... S-P-I-A, I probably should have, hold on. Spia. I've just looked at the Hangul on the second screen. Spia and their debut song titled Daddy's Little Girl. Now, didn't even know this was a thing that was happening today. I was on the release calendar while I was eating dinner and saw that there were two debuts today. Thought, you know what? It's my time to shine. Here we go. Let's check out a couple of Davies one time. So that's we're gonna do just that. Um, admittedly, I've tried looking for a K profiles page, and I couldn't find one at the time of recording. I might have just not looked for it properly. But um, usually we go through the K profiles before a group. Uh, we check out the music for a group's debut. But fortunately, that's not the case. Today. So we'll just go straight into the MV one time. So. Let me hit the intro button real quick and I'll see you at the end. Um, that one. So far so good. Technology is working today. We love to see it. Okay. And 1080p, no captions as of yet. So we're just gonna go and send it one time. Here we go. I have no idea what this is supposed to sound like because I don't listen to teasers to begin with and I haven't seen one for this release, so. Mm, those 808s are doing something for me, hello. This beat is so hard and nice and heavy. I'm also just transition in to the pre-chorus here. Oh, get your run. Drop it. Well, hello, okay. I chose a good song to start the recording session for today. This is getting me amped up. I love how controlled the 808 is here for the beginning of the second verse. It's like make it a little bit lighter than the rest of the song but once the second half comes around and then of course the big brass hits yeah i love brass section in the song so points for me that the drop has like a three stage lead and it's like dri they drip feed you each individual part of the big drop until you get to that big drop it's like immediate stank face double time it i wasn't expecting that i thought they made me to keep that halftime thing going for longer What? Or oh, do we get hoodwinked for the full drop? What? Oh, and 
they cut the they cut the 808s and stuff out early so they can finish with just the vocals. Oh. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Whoa, where did that come from? It's so nice. It's so loud. It's so heavy. Genuinely. I sometimes you can piece together what a song is gonna sound like just based off of the title. This was Jesus. This was heavy, hard hitting. I feel like I got smacked in the face. It is a good time though. Like I have I like to think I have a pretty wide range of musical interests, or at least in terms of like sounds and genres and stuff. But it's not often that a group can pull off a sound that goes as heavy as Spia have done without having going towards like the trap direction. And I think that's really cool. Especially in the girl group department, I feel like it's very rare to get a girl group in the K-pop scene that will take the intensity level this far. I want, I want that drop again. Give me that drop again. Cut it. Yeah, I think that staggered drop is so cool. And it's like... The first hit of the drop after that moment of silence and then you get all just the vocals to lead it in is already plenty hard. But when you're listening to it, you know it's not the full extent of the drop just because previous sections of the song was going harder. And when it comes to pop music or EDM music, the drop is always going to be the hardest part of the song, the loudest, the most impactful part of the song. That's why it's called a drop. That's why it's called a chorus. Because that is the main focal point of the song, right? So by listening to this... You know there's parts missing on that initial drop. So you're left thinking, Oh, where is this gonna go? Where is this gonna go? And then they drop it the way they drop it, and it's like... That drop is going to live rent free in my head. I, I already can tell that drop is going to live rent free in my head because, ooh, that is pushing all the right buttons for me. That is... I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've listened to anything this hard. Just in general to come out of Korea in this like vein of you know, heavy EDM. The type of EDM that's not like house or electro or tropical house or that kind of variation where it's light and bright and pretty energetic like this is the complete antithesis of that it's so loud in the bass department that if you were to listen to this on car radio like a car stereo and your car's like a little bit old and dinged up and you've got a couple of loose interior panels and stuff you turn this on crank up the volume crank up the bass the car is going to shake itself apart. That's how strong the bass is. Mm, bass heads are gonna like this one for sure. For sure, indeed. It's always a good time when you find a song that's like, that pleasantly surprises you. And for me, very much pleasantly surprises me. It's... Whenever I go into a debut, it's always kind of a... Kind of a lottery in a way. Because I don't really know what the sound concept is going to be like when i whenever i approach a comeback if i know the artist i'll generally know what type of music they do sure there's groups that you know constantly change up their sound and that's always very exciting indeed but there's regardless of how much a group changes their sound concept they're always going to have that very distinct them factor you know the personal identity of the group is going to be embedded in the song in some way shape or form regardless of what the type of song is going to be. But we don't get that luxury in a debut group because well, they have no previous music to base off of. And, well, 
if Spia continue with this type of like hard hitting music, they might be a group that I need to keep an eye out for because that was very fun indeed. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let's work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may bring up someone else day to day and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.